la 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 Greetings, 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 and hello. This is Tony Ross of TonyTeach.com doing something officially unofficial. Uh, so this is me playing live without a net. I normally record everything and then edit it so you don't hear me saying um, 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 and all the other fun stuff. But I was working on a project and thought I would share some information with you. Um, so working on a project that shall remain nameless. Uh, we're actually working on an ebook that has to deal with monsters and fun stuff like that. So uh, working with my very talented, bald, sexy partner, Chris Cartlidge, who did all these illustrations. Thank you, Chris. Um, business partner, that is. Anyway, not that there's anything wrong with having a business partner. Um, I'm rambling. So what I'm showing you here is there are all these drawing substitutions. And you see these little lines here. If you're not familiar with this in working with Tumbum Harmony, uh, I'm gonna do something really ugly here for a second. This is why I have Chris, because I don't draw that well. Let's add and close. Uh, basically, what a drawing substitution is, is I can go here on this new drawing layer, and I can draw a little circle. Yeah, that's an ugly circle. Let's make that circle bigger. I'm gonna hold on my O key. Okay, thank you. Let's draw a circle. Okay, and that says drawing one. And on the same layer, I can go right next to it and I have my onion skin turned on so I can see it. I can draw a different circle and go, hey, this circle looks a little bit different. Maybe it's larger, maybe it looks a little different like that. Um, so anyway, that's what drawing substitutions are. And they can be really simple or they can be pretty complex. So I'm gonna get rid of this layer. Um, and right here, the big bird, Let's see, if you notice his, his tongue is moving about. Okay, that's mainly about all he's doing. Okay, so I have him doing that and then I have him reverse that and going back to normal. Uh, mainly because what I'm gonna be doing is taking this um, animation and taking it over to Flash um, or Adobe Animate as it's called now and adding some interactivity to it so you press a button and something happens. Anyway, so what I want to do is, I think this is this is great, but to me, I was like, I want it to look a little more lively. So what I'm going to do is I've got my drawing substitutions. I'm going to add in a deformer, and I'm going to use bone deformers for this. And the cool thing about that is, is if, you, if you have any version of Harmony, any version of the recent Harmonies anyway, you should have um, access to the bone deformer. So it's in Essentials, Advanced, as well as Premium. Um, so let's go up here to our rigging tool. I'll click on this little guy that looks like a little wrench and a hammer. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm really only wanting the top part of this really to move, I think. So I'm gonna see if I can get away with this. I'm doing this live for the first time. So I'm gonna start this at his knee. Uh, I guess bring another one, maybe right above his belly slash torso, whatever, and then end it right at the top of his head. Now, this little guy in the middle here, this is the articulator. So I can click and drag this. And the larger it is, you mainly at least want it to touch the outside. But the larger this is, the more curve you're gonna have. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna keep that pretty large. I could show you what it's gonna look like the wrong way, but just follow me that I wanna keep this pretty large right now. And so I'll now go to my transform tool As soon as my computer catches up with me, thank you so much. All right, let's zoom out and say, oh, by the way, it actually gave me bones automatically here. So let me change the name of that. What do we call him? Is he Big Bird? Yes, he's called Big Bird. So I'm going to call this Big Bird underscore E-N for bone. Okay, so I got that collapsed. And I know my movements start at about frame 10. So let's drop in a keyframe, F6. And then we're going to go four more frames later. All right. And what I want to do is I want to grab this bone here and rotate him up a little bit.
and I can even stretch them out a bit. Ah, bad Tony. Let's undo both of those because we forgot to have our animate button turned on. Let's try it again. All right. So four frames later, I'm going to rotate him up a little, stretch him out a little bit, maybe even pull this guy out. All right, so that's before, after, before, after. All right, so I have my stop motion keyframes turned on, which is comes in handy sometimes. So let's go under animation. Under animation, it says stop motion keyframe. So to make sure this works, we're going to hold on our command key, control on PC, and simply press the letter K. And that says we're going to interpolate these little guys here. So it's giving them a little more life than just doing that little drawing there. And do I want to rotate the sucker? Let's see. I think that's pushing it a little bit too much, but you get the idea. So let's not rotate him. I'm just going to leave him normal. Let's see. And this is a um, this is a deformer or a distortion, so you have to be careful and make sure nothing's getting really too distorted. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I'm liking it. All right, so I'm gonna expand this so I can see where I need to reverse this because um, it's gonna go up, hold it for a few seconds, and then come back down to its normal pose. So let's copy. Let's keyframe, Command C, Control C on PC. Let's go here and paste Command V. Copy this guy, Command C. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't do them at the same time, I haven't actually had good experience with doing them at the same time. For some reason, it, don't, it doesn't grab both layers. So, um, and it's interpolating between those two, even though it's not going to hurt anything. I do want to change that. So it's given that tween. So let's do Command L. Let's get gets rid of that tween for me. Um, so now we'll copy that first key, copy, and go back down here and paste, and copy the first bone, and paste. Oh, by the way, let's make sure that one does interpolate, or tween. Tony keeps using that word. Okay, so that's what's going on. That's what's going on. And um, I'm going to go ahead and collapse that. I also did that with this little guy here at the bottom. He's like peeking through the window. Um, and if I select him, you'll see the bones there as well. Let's select him, go up to the top and say, show selected deformer. I'm going to zoom in to Mr. Three-Eyed Guy at the window. And you can see how I'm manipulating and moving uh, the bone deformer there. So uh, mixing your bone deformers with your drawing substitutions, it's kind of a cool way to just give a little more life to something. Um, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And again, you can do this. I'm, wor I'm working in uh, Harmony Essentials right now, and that's uh i believe in harmony essentials 12 as well as harmony essentials 14. matter of fact let me check which one am i using let's see yeah this is actually 12. i'm messing with 12 right now so um all righty so that's the deal of um been working on this project and now uh, coming close up on finishing it up. So wanted to share with you something I thought might come in handy. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple more. Hopefully, um, I did. I released something by accident the other day. Uh, I do one-on-one -on -one training, and I usually train via what is that? Google Hangout. So 
I accidentally posted something and I've since taken it down, but um, I was talking with some of my students and we may start doing those live for everyone to watch because I think they're kind of uh, very helpful because they have questions I think that a lot of you have. And I think it's kind of cool. Um, we, we got really good response. I was looking back at the recording. That's why I use Google Hangout. <laughs> but I was looking back at the recording. I was like, wait a minute, why are there 89 views on this? And this should only have like one or two views for my student, but I'd forgot to set it to unlisted. So anyway, we're going to be doing more of those later. And uh, if you guys have suggestions, uh, leave them out below. If you like this video, please like it. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Anyway, have a good one.